Hi guys, it's Jody. It's getting chillier in my studio. I'm wearing a sweater, <laughs> which means my paints are now thickening up instead of being too thin. <laughs> oh, the balance I have to do in my environment, uh, but enough of that. So today's video, I would like to do a floating bloom. I'm, I've been in the mode of using up paints that I have before I start mixing up newer paints. <laughs> So I had an idea from uh, actually one of my followers on Facebook to do kind of a monochromatic floating bloom. And so I'm like, oh, oh I've got those colors mixed up already. Let's go for it. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right, let's go over the colors we're going to use today, the cell activators, the pillow, and then we'll get started painting. So I've got a monochromatic theme going on and you'll see, and I'll kind of explain as we go along what we're doing here. But I've got two colors for lack of a better term since they're really black black and white <laughs> mixed up with my uh my pouring medium the pouring medium is the same in both it is the Valspar Verithane pouring medium mix that I use and the first one is the Josonia titanium white and it's got a little bit a little bit extra bubbles in there just mixed this up not too long ago but I was anxious to <laughs> to paint with it so we're going with it since it's kind of like a black and white theme I'm not too worried about bubbles uh then my next one is the uh, Josonia black umber and this this is a bit this is kind of a warm black almost got a brownish undertone to it but I love using this as opposed to just straight up black. I like to use straight up black for my cell activator, but there's that consistency. So those are the two uh, colors that I mix up with my pouring medium. Now I have three cell activators here and I'm gonna use all three, but some in different capacities. And I'll explain as we go along. These are all mixed with, again, these are my cell activators. These are all mixed with the Australian Floetrol at four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol, one part paint. And the one part paint, that is here is the Atelier Interactive Mars Black. And I did thin this up a little bit. I'd add a little bit more of Floetrol in there. It was just getting too thick. It's getting, it's finally getting cooler here. <laughs> and then I've got my silver. This is the Atelier Interactive Silver, the one part paint. And then the last I've got the Atelier Interactive Titanium White. Those, so those are the three cell activators. Now my pillow, I've got a fresh and full container of the PPG Multi Pro. Here's the consistency again. Like it, it's getting, it's finally getting cooler in uh, my studio, both upstairs and and down here. So this is kind of getting back to its original consistency. The PPG Multi Pro. It got a little bit thin on me in the summer. You know when it depends on your environment. As a lot of you are aware, your paints will thin when it's warmer and they will get thicker when it's cooler. So at any rate, PPG Multi Pro is the pillow we're going to use. So now I'm going to bring you over to the canvas and I'm going to explain what we're going to do. All right. I have got a 14 inch square canvas here that I've got taped up on the back. And we are going to do a floating bloom with those colors that I just showed you. I want to do a silver background. I originally was going to do black and silver, but I think it's going to be too much for what I want to do with the bloom. We're going to swipe on a silver background and then the bloom, we're going to use the, the black umber and then the, the, the titanium white mixed with the Josonia and the pouring medium. But I also want to throw in the silver cell activator in between those to see what would happen and then you know we're going to put we're we're going to put our cell activators on the top as well to bloom that's my idea <laughs> we know how ideas work but we're going to go with the flow today and see what the paint has to say so i'm going to get this canvas flooded and i'll be right back all right i've got this all flooded and we're going to use this tool to swipe the background so i'm going to get this loaded up and i will show you All right, like so, I've just got a thin layer of the silver cell activator on here, and we're just going to go right here.
All right, this turned out pretty nice. I was I had trouble on the last one here. For some reason, the last swipe I always do for the background, I tend to dig in down to the canvas. Uh, you know, <laughs> it, it, uh, so you know I can I can see it too. So I just added a little bit more pillow and then just kind of gently swiped over it. This is going to get knocked off, so I wasn't worried about it. But I really kind of dug in here and here. So if you do that yourself, you just add a little bit more pillow and just kind of. You know you can fix it whichever way you need to um but the if you don't you know if you just leave it and it's showing the canvas then all your paint as you're tilting and spinning is going to kind of go around it and and warp that part of the composition so that's why i try to fix it so that we have a nice even coat of the background on here so now <laughs> after all that we're going to put the colors on here for the blooms all right i'm going to start with the black umber here in the middle. Put, actually, I'm just gonna pour it on. Cause I want a lot. That's a good amount. Since we only, since it's monochrome, I want a good amount there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some of the silver cell activator in here and it's going to kind of act as well we don't know how it's going to act i've never done this before i wanted some silver in the bloom underneath the uh the white with the pouring medium before we put the cell activators on so we've got that it's kind of sinking down so i don't know if my idea is going to work but now i'm going to put on the white this is the the titanium white with the uh mixed with the pouring medium all right, that should be enough. Now we're gonna do put on the cell activators and I think we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the black cell activator first. Try not to put too much on because we've got two more we're gonna put on. And then I am going to put the, I'm gonna put the silver next. And then lastly, the white. And it's starting to sink down already, so here we go. We're gonna blow it out. All right, that blew out pretty cool. We've got some kind of spiderweb cells here and a lot of nice cells coming in in the middle. All right, this is collecting in nicely. We've got all manner of cells going on in here. We've got little thin threads and we've got some really neat cells on the outskirts. So let's play. I'm digging that. I put a little bit, a couple of scoop and drags in the middle there because I didn't like the way the cells were playing out. I knew they were going to get weird. So I thought, you know what? Let's just have some fun in the middle there. But I am really liking what's happening here. And I'm excited to see how all these different cells stretch out in this, in this bloom. So I'm going to meet you over at the spinner floor and we're going to get this spinned out. kind of what this looks like up close before we start spinning it. I love all the different cells in there. I cannot wait to see how 
how they turn out. So I think this is pretty well centered. I'm gonna just start spinning and then we'll guide it from there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not seeing, well this guy right here is starting to come out a little bit, but that's all right. We're gonna give it another spin. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Move this over just a little. And I wanna move it this way, cause I want this to, I want the paint to move off here a little bit more. So let's go that way. too dark. All right. All right. I'm actually, I want more to come off this side a little bit, so I'm going to keep it there. Yeah. Ooh, that's opening up nicely. Really nice. And I like the little designs I've made in the middle. It's kind of enhancing the outside really nicely. I need to get this over and this over a little bit more, but we've still got a few more spins because I want this to open up a bit more. So here we go. Yes. Oof. Gosh, are you opening up so super nicely, but I want more. I'm being greedy. I want more. More, more, more. Yeah. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, this is opening up really nicely. Really, really nicely. Okay. Just about there. I just want one or two more spins. It's opening up so nicely and I'm glad I added some designs into the middle because the, those little thin threads in there would not have held up. Do I want to do anything else? Nope, I think we're good. All right, this is, oh, I love how this has opened up. Just got a little tiny bit more. I just want, I want one more. like it just like that. My center has still got some movement, but I'm just going to let it be. Kind of got a little wonky. I think could have been because I had three cell activators. That silver was overly thin and the, uh, <laughs> the white was thin, but the black was thick. So it's kind of, you know, you're walking a line there, but I'm really digging what's happening here. I think you know what? Ugh, for lack of better judgment, I want one more. <laughs> one more small one. I can't help myself. This 
want to make sure that paint in the middle doesn't get all weird as it's drying. All right, I'm calling this done. <laughs> I'm done spinning. I, I This has turned out really nicely. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over the flyover of this guy. All right, here it is as a whole. I'm going to dive in. I, I changed the orientation again. I like it in multiple ways. Um, I did have to fix the middle a little bit more with a few more of my uh, palette knife little scooping drags there, but I kind of it kind of looks really cool that way. I mean, and I'll and I'll uh, I'll point point out what I mean when we get to the middle there. But I love the silver background is going to be so neat, and how just there's cells like bubble cells over here, and then there's these little thready cells intermingled, and then some more over here. I love this. This here I had a little bit of trouble with. Oops, sorry about my camera. So I kind of had a little bit of fun with my palette knife and it almost looks like the center of a flower now with those little tiny cells in there poking in. So I am totally digging that, but you can kind of see the shimmer that's going to come through once this dries. I love the mix here. I love those little cells there and then kind of like the spider web right there. And this... It almost looks like it looks like a torn edge right there. I absolutely love that. So so cool. And we got some leopard leopard cells. We've got all kinds of cells in this in this piece here. I am super excited to see how this dries. This almost looks like snake skin or dragon skin. This was really a lot of fun to do with this kind of monochromatic uh, color scheme we have going on here. So I am so excited to see how this dries. I'll be back once it's dried to show you the dried results. And here we got it all dried. I actually started out on the diagonal because I, I changed my perspective again. I really, I really, this is probably my favorite orientation. This piece gave me a little bit of trouble in the middle, but I'll talk about that when we get closer up to the middle. But this background just dried really nicely. And I love these all these cells in here just stayed how you saw them. I had trouble in here, but I'm kind of digging it. It just kind of looks a little bit creepy. <laughs> but I did have a little bit of extra paint still in the middle. And with the cell, activ the cell activators I used, a couple of them were thinner. So they decided to shift on me, which can happen and still definitely happens to me. <laughs> But I try to make the best of it, and I may or may not add some embellishments in the middle. But overall, I think this piece just dried amazing. And I love how this, I mean, it just almost looks like it's torn edge. I don't know what happened there, but it's just so super cool. Let's try a few other orientations to see. This one's kind of nice, too. I think if it's not on a diagonal, I prefer the background to be uh, vertically instead of horizontally. I really like this orientation also. Yeah, this one's not bad too. I still, my favorite is still on the diagonal, that one that one way. I brought you over. I just wanted to show you. There aren't just a little subtle shimmers with that background. I didn't get the shimmers that I wanted in the bloom itself, but I'm okay with it. I, cause I just love the, the I mean, the monochromatic of it, the, the different shades of, black and gray and a little bit of brown in there. So I'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts. The diagonal is definitely my favorite on this piece. There's a few different diagonal ways, but I wasn't gonna show you eight different ways. You can <laughs> you can use your imagination, but I did wanna point out the issue I had in the middle. I was a little disappointed in that, but you know what? You can always uh, embellish with acrylic markers. I still think it's kind of cool in the way it kind of moved a little bit. I was trying to help it along with the scoop and drags that you saw, but my issue was I did have a little bit uh, more paint left in the middle. Couple that with my the couple of my cell activators that were a bit too thin, and sometimes your paint just shifts, and it's still taking a little bit longer to dry in my basement, so that also gives your, your paints some time to shift if they're going to, so it just happens. <laughs> So let me know your favorite orientation on this piece. I really love the diagonal. Do you like the diagonal? Do you like the regular edge? And this this piece is definitely different. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. It almost gives me the, the Halloween kind of creepy vibes a little bit. But uh, <laughs> let me know what you thought in the comments below. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.